right now live at noon. Storms are making their way into the valley with a lightning show in the sky as well. Sherry will show us just how much rain we can expect. And this rain, a welcome sight for firefighters battling the Carpenter One fire. But with that storm come new fears. The two threats now loom over the mountains. Now, Nevada's first choice for news. This is 8 News Now at Noon. Thanks for joining us. All eyes are on the sky this noon. Many of us, in fact, woke up to some lightning and thunder this morning. And we're tracking a monsoonal storm right now that is set to unleash more wet weather in the valley in the next hour. And the big question this noon is how will the storm affect the Carpenter One fire up on the mountain? We have live team coverage today. Diane Tuazon is live from the base of the mountain with the concerns of flooding there. But let's start with Sherry Swensk, who is watching the storm develop. Sherry? Well, we look out to the skies and you can see just how dark the clouds are. Now, we had a pretty good round of rain and thunder storms this morning brought about a tenth of an inch of rain up to out to the mountain in the rain gauges that we did have and some light rain around the Las Vegas Valley and you can see the roads were slicked up. Uh, fortunately, no flooding problems. The, la the rain was fairly light and steady for just about an hour's time as those cells popped up around the valley. But we are anticipating that some of the rain and thunderstorms to come will be heavy enough to bring some flash flooding in those scarred, burned areas up there on the mountain. So a flash flood watch has been issued that is in effect now all the way until 5 a.m. Friday morning tomorrow. So that's for the Spring Mountains in Clark County as well as Mojave County in northwest. Arizona. Now we've got these storms that are rolling north out of Arizona and near uh, California right around the state line. But what I've been watching is that these have actually been uh, dying out in intensity and that's good news. A lot of lightning up in the far northern Arizona area and right here on the other side of Lake Mead. So while we are looking for some cells to make their way right into our area here during our noon newscast, it looks like they won't be as intense and may not even have any lightning for this particular round. But Denise, and Paul, there's a lot more to come with this monsoon surge, and we'll cover that in your forecast coming up. Right, sure, thanks. The uh, storm causing some new threats for the mountain where firefighters are trying to get that Carpenter One fire under control. And not only are there concerns about more lightning, but uh, if we get any heavy rain on that scorch surface, we may be dealing with some flooding. 8 News Dow's Diane Tuazon joins us with more on what we can expect as this rain moves in. Diane? Yeah, well, we already saw some rain coming in this morning, and that means the monsoon season is officially here. But with the fire still burning, that also means flood issues throughout the valley. Now, forest and agriculture experts say with a fire this large and all the debris that comes from it, the mess will eventually make its way down the mountain with just a couple days of rain. They're concerned even a few days of heavy rain will slow down the evaporation process since so much of the healthy soil and trees are gone. Experts say if that happens, there's a good chance the channels and drainages could close log up and roads could be washed out, which will cause a problem with flooding in some parts of the valley. So what they're doing is putting new soil and mulch in areas that were heavily burned so that it's prepared to take on the rainfall headed our way. But even with that procedure, they say all that charred debris has to make its way down somehow. If we have a light rain, uh, light rain, that's going to be, that's perfect. If we have a light, steady rain, and so is my, and so is heavy events that we uh, we worry about even when uh, I've seen these uh, storms on the mountain there even when that's uh, fully vegetated I've seen surface runoff coming off of them because it cannot the soil cannot absorb the water fast enough now they're not taking any chances when it comes to flood or landslides caused by rainfall so even as the fire still burns they're already working on ways to minimize the damage as the rain continues to come in now they're also working on creating barriers for the homes that are up in the mountains to prevent those landslides at least until the foundation is strong enough to hold those homes reporting live diane two is on eight news now all right, Diane, we are now in day 11 of that fire fight up on Mount Charleston, and today a mobile fire retardant factory is getting up and running to make getting that retardant to the fire lines a lot faster. Uh, you may have noticed the last few days, though, several aircrafts have now joined the fire fight, some from Utah, California, helping bring water and retardant to the mountain. Uh, the cost of fighting the flames has also grown to $9.5 million. The fire has now grown to more than 27,000 acres, and so far it's just 15% contained. More than 1,200 firefighters are battling the flames, and only two have suffered any kind of minor injuries. They have lost, though, six structures to the fire, but haven't said exactly what those structures are. 
Well, only time will tell exactly how much damage was done on the mountain, but environmentalists we talked to said the Mount Charleston area will never look the same again. John, John Hyatt with the uh, Red Rock Audubon Society says we really haven't seen a fire of this magnitude in centuries, and the trees that were lost may never come back. But he said in their place will be underbrush that will spur new trees and attract new wildlife to the area. It's both negative and positive. I mean, I'm certainly really sorrowful to see those thousand-year-old pine trees disappear or be burned, um, but the, si the system will survive this. There have been fires in the past, and the system will survive. It'll be different, but there'll be winners and losers in this. He said an endangered butterfly that lives at Mount Charleston may actually benefit from the fire in the years to come because of all the new growth that will take place of that charred ground. We know so many of you want to be able to show your support to those firefighters who've been working so hard up there. So you can join us at Facebook.com slash Community Pride 8 and post your stories, your photos, or just to say thanks to the firefighters and volunteers. 8 News Now in our community thanks you. Well, casinos on the Las Vegas Strip brought in a lot of money in May. Gaming wins were up more than 6% for the Strip, but downtown, and not as lucky, they uh, stay at 7% drop. But North Las Vegas and the Boulder Strip uh, took the biggest hits with both drops into the teens. Meantime, the stock market took off on record highs this morning. The numbers immediately started climbing after it opened. This is all in response to Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke saying the central bank would continue to support the U.S. economy. Within the first few minutes of trading, the Dow Jones Industrial shot up 151 points. Right now, it's up 159. And House Republicans are developing their own bills on immigration with their focus on securing the borders. After their immigration reform meeting, they announced they would not be taking up the Senate's reform bill and, in fact, would not not pass a single sweeping bill. Instead, they want to work on a series of smaller bills and they won't come anytime soon. Lawmakers say they plan to take their time and won't likely vote on anything until after the August recess, but there's still hope to make progress on immigration reform by the end of the year. We are learning more about what exactly happened in just the moments after Asiana Flight 214 crash landed in San Francisco. The 911 calls have just been released and it paints a frantic picture, frantic picture of uh, people severely burned, people with head injuries, forced to wait for ambulances to get to them. Bagad Shaban has the details. Passengers aboard Asiana Flight 214. Bagad Shaban, CBS News, San Francisco. We uh, also learned the pilot of the plane initially told flight attendants to keep everybody seated after the crash as he talked to the control tower. The evacuation started 90 seconds later after a flight attendant saw the flames. Wow. Catching a serial killer, a surprise announcement. Police cracked the case of a man who terrorized the city. The finally revealed piece of evidence that may give families of Boston Strangler victims some closure. Closing arguments in the George Zimmerman murder trial are going on right now. The reason a key ruling hurts Zimmerman's case. The Las Vegas Elks Lodge and the city of Las Vegas want to thank everyone who supported the 2013 Heldorado Days festivities. This year's rodeo and charities right here at home. Saturday's performance was dedicated to our military and veterans with more than 1,000 tickets going to local military personnel and their families. And the income from Sunday's Cowboys for a Cure went directly to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. So thanks, Southern Nevada, for helping Southern Nevadans. See you next year at Helderado Days. CBS Monday. How long can an entire town stay trapped? What if the dome lasts forever? Before everyone snaps. I'm gonna ask you to disperse. Yeah! We may have an epidemic. Those people are supposed to die. No way out. Over 30 million viewers are hooked on the summer's biggest event. This dome is like an incubator. It's not too late to experience. What does this mean? Under the Dome. New episode, CBS Monday. Introducing South Point $600,000 July Money Madness. One lucky winner will win a Super Progressive every few days just for playing. Progressive will hit by $25,000. Plus, everyone actively playing when it hits gets $20 in free play. Win at any time with any play. And a daily Progressive up to $2,500 in free play. Any machine, any time, any hand. $600,000 July Money Madness. Only at South Point. 
Anderson Dairy, the best dairy products for over 100 years. We're proud to be locally owned, proud to be longtime Nevadans. We've seen Las Vegas grow through challenging times and good times. We've grown too. No doubt you've seen our trucks around town. A lot has changed over the years. One thing has it, our commitment to quality. And we'll continue to give you our very best. Anderson Dairy, tradition, innovation, quality, trust. Do insurance companies stack the deck against you with high-powered attorneys and expert witnesses? Yes, they do. Go lightly and Associates, 222-3333. We have a couple of quick updates now about that fire in Mount Charleston. The uh, Red Rock Visitor Center was closed temporarily this morning, but now it is reopened. Uh, the community center meeting will be moving to the visitor center. That's going to happen tonight at 530. Earlier this morning, protesters were outside Henderson Police Headquarters. The demonstrators supported a family that has filed a lawsuit against the department. We're now learning North Las Vegas police are backing up Henderson's uh, police side of the story. The Mitchell family says Michael and his son Anthony were arrested after they refused to let police into their homes during a standoff back in 2011. According to North Las Vegas police report, Anthony Mitchell was arrested because he was thought to be giving information about police to the standoff suspect. North Las Vegas police were involved because they were working the case, even though this all happened in Henderson. Well, that story matches up with what was in the Henderson police reports. Despite that, the Mitchells claim officers used false charges to illegally occupy their homes. A break in a decades-old case of families of Boston strangler victims may finally get some peace of mind. It's taken 49 years for police to legitimately say they got their man, and they'll probably be able to say that very soon. Police say DNA evidence linked Albert DeSalvo to the murder of the strangler's final victim, 19-year-old Mary Sullivan. A water bottle found at the scene provided the key evidence. DeSalvo was long thought to be the man that terrorized the city of Boston and even confessed at one point, but then died in prison before he could be charged. Now police plan to exhume his body and charge him with those killings. There's been a twist in the final day of the trial. Closing arguments going on right now in the George Zimmerman murder trial. A judge's key last-minute decision that may give the jury new options on Zimmerman's fate and the precautions being taken by Florida law enforcement. Miss USA. Beautiful, accomplished, successful, but the dating scene is so tough, even she's going online looking for love. Next Inside Edition. Tonight at 6.30, only on Channel 8. Her small business account hacked. Yeah, and the bank said she could not get her money back. Unbelievable that I had to resort to this. The unlikely response when 8 on your side got involved. And the trick these hackers played on her, that'll have you checking your money more at 6 a.m. Flood season is here. For 30 years, I've been helping injured people make their claims for the money damages to which they are entitled. We handle car accidents, slip and falls, negligent death claims, nursing home abuse, workers' compensation, and all injury cases. You will not be charged attorney's fees or costs unless there is a recovery. Call us for a free consultation. We make house calls. Bernstein and Poisson, protecting your rights. Tired of calls, levies, and liens from the IRS or hiring others who don't get the job done? Call Wall and Associates and you'll never talk to the IRS again. We have the professionals who know how to solve tax problems. If you owe money to the IRS, your tax problems are not going away by themselves. Call Wall and Associates right now to speak with a professional tax relief agent. Call Wall & Associates now at 702-666-8637. Movies. We're a new network dedicated to timeless cinema. Beginning Memorial Day, find movies on Cox Cable Channel 128.
Prosecutors are delivering some closing arguments now in the George Zimmerman murder trial. The case expected to go to the jury tomorrow. Uh, they've been dramatic and at times controversial today. George Zimmerman charged with second degree murder for shooting and killing 17 year old Trayvon Martin. But a judge ruled this morning that the jury can't consider a lesser charge of manslaughter. Susan McGinnis has what this change means for the jury. The prosecution has begun its closing argument in the George Zimmerman murder trial. A teenager is dead. He is dead through no fault of his own. Earlier, Judge Deborah Nelson made a key ruling. The court will give the instruction on um, manslaughter. The judge ruled the jury can consider the lesser charge of manslaughter if they don't find George Zimmerman guilty of second-degree murder. Zimmerman's lawyers wanted the jury to decide on second-degree murder or acquittal. The state has charged him with second-degree murder. They should be required to prove it if they can. Zimmerman, a former neighborhood watchman, claims he shot Trayvon Martin in self-defense. The judge's decision means the defense now has to be concerned about jurors returning a compromise verdict. I think that the prosecution has at this point, maybe just trying to, you know, uh, from a PR standpoint, damage control gets some kind of conviction. Each side will have three hours to present its final case to the jury. First the prosecution, then the defense gets its chance. You know, criminal statutes are pretty precise. There was tension in the courtroom as the judge admonished one defense attorney for his repeated so objections. You continually disagree with this court every time I make a ruling. Do not continue to argue with the court after we've ruled. Also this morning, both sides hashed out final jury instructions. The jury of six women is expected to begin deliberations Friday. Susan McGinnis, CBS News, Sanford, Florida. And you know this trial has heated up tensions in the region and really across the country. Yeah, uh, police and city leaders in Florida say they are taking precautions now to deal with any potential unrest in the case that Z Zimmerman might be acquitted. From 8 News Now, this is Neighborhood Weather with Sherry Swensk. Well, we welcome the rain to help uh, with that big Carpenter One fire up in the mountains. It's been a long week or more now that we've been watching it churn out all that smoke. But the rain, the thunderstorms don't come without their hazards. They're good, there's bad. And uh, let me tell you, one bonus is that it will help with the air quality of the smoke that's been pumped into the Las Vegas Valley. In fact, Clark County downgraded the air quality alert to back to a smoke advisory, just letting us know that at times there will be uh, periods of smoke into the valley. But if we can get some really good rain going with some of these showers, that will really help get rid of a lot of that smoke that's been plaguing us here, especially for the last couple of days. Mount Charleston picked up nearly a tenth of an inch of rain this morning. That's in the rain gauge that we have up there in Old Town, but I do suspect that there were areas of even the fire areas that probably got some better rain than that. Dew points are up. A sure sign that the monsoon has been surging our way. You can feel it. The air is heavy. You know something's up. And of course, we've got the cloudy skies out there. Temperatures have been held back by the clouds. Look at all these 80s at the noon hour. Wasn't it just about a week or so ago where we had that extreme heat of 110? So quite a difference the clouds make. And you can see that the wind direction has been shifting now out of the south southeast up to 10, 15 plus miles an hour. Another sign that the direction of the flow is different for it's all coming up out of Arizona and into our area. 88 in Overton, 85 at Prim. Death Valley managing to eke out a little over the century mark at 101. 97 in Pahrump, and we've got a very comfortable 76 degrees up there in Caliani. St. George has been having thunderstorms. We're going to look at a very active radar coming up. Rain and storms today. Some of that rain can be very heavy, leading to some flash flooding and thunderstorms that will last every day, especially for the mountains right on in to the weekend. Alrighty, so these thunderstorms are rolling to the north, and we were looking at a cluster of storms, a complex storm, a storm cell down here out of Arizona, but as it's been rolling to the north, it's actually been weakening. So we were hoping for the rain, but if it stayed on course the way it was, it probably would have produced some pretty good flash flooding. So if it can just relax a little bit and produce some nice steady rains across the area, that will be good for us. But unfortunately, there's been some flooding up here around Colorado City, some areas of standing water over three feet in the roads there. So some areas are gonna produce some very heavy rainfall 
and that's what we're afraid of up in the mountains. Mid 90s at best. I think we already hit our high of the day 94 back at midnight. Overnight uh, possible evening rains and then we are looking at uh, the chance for some showers and thunderstorms into Friday again with a slight chance Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Denise and uh, Paul again it's nice to get a break in the heat. We just don't want the flash flooding or the dangerous lightning. Just like some really nice rain and cooler temperatures. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah. Thanks, Sherry. Still ahead here at Waiting for Word, a country music legend Randy Travis out of surgery. A virus caused him to have a swollen heart and he suffered a stroke. The latest on his condition this afternoon. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Play all the great new penny games at the Orleans, Gold Coast, and Sun Coast, and Samstown. I'm Kathleen T. I saved one hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars. I saved one hundred one thousand. I'm Thomas H. I saved, I saved one hundred thirty-two thousand. I'm John D. I saved one hundred and fifty-three thousand. These are real clients and real savings. I'm Jamie Cogburn, and we have saved our clients over one hundred fifty million dollars, and we can help you. Whether it's a short sale, loan modification, or refinance, we will go over all your options. Call us today for your free consultation. That's what I call mobility. Football in the car. Portability. Upgrade to a Cox bundle and get TV on the go, in-home Wi-Fi, and readable voicemail starting as low as $99.99 a month. Save over $1,000 with our 24-month price guarantee. Give me just a minute, okay? You got the game? Yeah. First and goal. Oh, holding penalty! The Cox Bundle, starting as low as $99.99 a month with our 24-month price guarantee, plus free pro installation. Watching my game on the go, reading my home voicemail, incredibility. Paul, your grill is on fire. Oh, no. Randy, can I borrow your hose? Sure. It's a mature tay, Randy. Bundle options start as low as $99.99 a month. Save over $1,000 with our 24-month price guarantee. Call now to switch to Cox. Trust, compassion, honesty, results. These are the words our clients use. From the moment that I first walked in, uh, I was treated with, with respect. I felt like I was important. I felt as if I had a friend walking with me every single step of the way. I was just as important as the next person. When you're hurt in an accident, on or off the job, get green. Greenman, Goldberg, Raby, and Martinez, and get the money you deserve. Call 388-GGRM. Call GGRM. That's my lawyer. Stop by your neighborhood Smiths today. Low prices, market fresh. Now, Nevada's first choice for news. This is 8 News Now at Noon. The Cirque du Soleil show Ka will have a tribute show to a performer who died on stage. 31-year-old Sarah Gouillet Gouillard died after plummeting 90 feet during the final battle scene. That was a show that was on June 29th. Ka has since been closed, but we're told will reopen now on July 16th, which is next Tuesday. On Thursday, the show will offer a tribute performance at midnight um, on one of the other stages. You can get tickets at the MGM Grand Box Office. Country music legend Randy Travis is still in critical condition this afternoon. He had surgery last night to relieve pressure on his brain after suffering a stroke. The 54-year-old's family is with him at a heart hospital at Baylor Plano in Texas. And Travis has won seven Grammys and 10 each of ACM and American Music Awards. Uh, his best-known songs are Forever and Ever, Amen, and Deeper Than Holler. Well, plenty of pets will find homes later today thanks to a major strip resort. MGM Resorts is covering all of the costs for adopting a new pet from the Animal Foundation. The company has held similar events in the past, and they have found homes for hundreds of dogs and cats because they pay for it. Today's adoption fair is going on right now at the Grand Garden Arena until 530 tonight, but you have to be an MGM employee in order to go.
And A News Now is inviting you to come out and see the Las Vegas 51s play ball this weekend. And you can also help us celebrate our 60th anniversary. Denise and I, and in fact, all of our anchors will be there and we'll have a photo booth to help you capture the moment. We'll also be collecting bottled water for the Las Vegas rescue mission so they can help the homeless this summer. And the first 500 people in the gates with a case of water will get $25 gift cards to RC Willie, along with a coupon for a free one-topping large pizza from Papa John's. The first pitch is at 7 p.m. on Saturday, and we look forward to seeing you out there. Yeah, it should be great. A, a cool treat sure is nice in the heat. The popular convenience store chain giving them away as part of their birthday celebration today. How you can pick up a free Slurpee. Watch the stars of MeTV painted in a different light. I wonder who they are. Whatever is in the passage must have terrified. Cable 129, digital 8.2. Next live, Kevin James and the final day of Bow Wow Week. I don't want it to end. <laughs> It'll be rough, but doggone it, we'll get through it. Tomorrow morning at 9 on Channel 8. Driving in the valley can make anyone crazy, but when you feel like there's no one there to help, I'm here every morning finding solutions to your traffic troubles, making a safer, easier drive for you and your family. I'll show you what's in your way. And I'll get you around it. Brian and Ken on 8 News Now. Walker Furniture is giving you three great offers. An 8.1% discount equal to the sales tax, free delivery, and no interest for one year. Save 65% on these five-piece dining groups. Your choice, your style, only $3.56. Shop Walker today. When injured, you need more than just an attorney. You need someone who truly cares about you and your family. I'm Adam Kuttner. I work hard to make sure you get the right doctor, your car repaired or replaced, and other additional compensation. This is why I receive so many referrals from other satisfied clients. Don't be a file on someone's desk. I'll personally see to it that you get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. Injured, ask attorney Adam Kuttner, 382-0000. Las Vegas' favorite giveaway is back. Station Casino's $2 million swipe and win. Two ways to win this Friday and Saturday. Swipe your boarding pass, win instant prizes. Ten grand in cash, free slot play, free meals, free gifts. Every swipe's a winner guaranteed. And earn entries for the weekend cash drawings. Win up to $1,000. The $2 million swipe and win giveaway. This month at all stations and fiestas where everybody wins. Walker Furniture is giving you three great offers. An 8.1% discount equal to the sales tax. Free delivery, no doubt, no interest, and no minimum purchase for one year. Now through Monday, only at Walker. After practicing law, Raymond Burr fought crime. You have the right to an attorney. His name is Ironside. Ain't it the truth? Cable 129, digital 8.2. We've talked about uh, pet adoption. What about all the money we spend on pets? Today at 4, we're taking on this topic in smart living. From toys to treats, we'll show you how to cut down on pet prices. And wildfires raging out of control at 4.30. The discussion on Capitol Hill as lawmakers try to figure out how to prevent such catastrophic disasters. It is free Slurpee Day once again. 7-Eleven marking its namesake day with free small Slurpees until 7 tonight. All you have to do is walk in and say, hey, I want to celebrate your birthday. And you get a free Slurpee.